Welcome to today's update video. Life has been a little bit busy over the last uh, couple of weeks, so I've not been doing an awful lot of modelling. Today, though, I've been having a go at putting together one of the Nightwing 20-foot containers, um, which I think have been around for a number of years. It's from their Heritage range. Well, as you can see, my uh, first one is uh, built and uh, I've tried to put acrylic paint straight on uh, it wasn't having that uh, very well as you can see uh, I probably should have just um, bitten the bullet and stuck some primer on to begin with let that dry and then uh, put on acrylic on top as you can see in the foreground, I also tried enamel first uh, and it really wasn't having that at all. Um, perhaps if you've uh, used any Nightwing kits yourself in the past and painted them up, uh, perhaps you'd like to uh, put a comment below as to what you did for painting. Uh, as you can see, this is only really uh, a first coat at best, uh, so we'll just have to see how it comes out. My intention here is that this blue is pretty close to the maritime uh, blue that is used on containers and uh, even on some Class 66s. So that's the idea with this anyway. Um, as you can see, this is the kit as it comes. There are four 20-foot containers. They're really easy to build. I've literally just been using uh, poly cement to put them together. At the moment, as I say, I've just made the one. But hopefully, uh, these will be quite reasonable. Talking of containers, uh, here's, I'd like to say, a few that I made earlier. But uh, as you can probably tell from the standard of finish and paint and livery application, uh, these are all ones that were bought uh, as is. Uh, amongst the ones here, we have got... Uh, certainly two or three that are from Sea Rail in their intermodal series, and they are particularly good, I think. Um, here we've got one of their brand new releases, uh, the Ocean Network Express, which is a very good livery. Uh, the standard of the finish on these is just amazing. Um, I really do like their uh, models. We've also got some China shipping ones, which are uh, Barkman, I believe. Uh, again, they're certainly not bad. Not quite up to the same standard as the C um, rail ones, but they're pretty good. Um, and then we've got this one, which I think might be a Dapple, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, and again, they're far from bad. Uh, they're not quite as nice, although the printing on here is very good and then of course we've also got some 40 foot containers uh, here in the mask I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that uh, Hanjin and Evergreen I know that the layout I've mainly been working on recently is very much set in the uh, pre-BR days uh, so these are hardly uh, very handy for that. However, some of my other ideas are for much more recent times, hence the containers. And you've probably seen hiding at the back here is one of Hornby's uh, most recent releases in their KFAs, which are, I think, a really nice model. Uh, and this one here is, of course, the tanker uh, set. I do have one of the uh, Ocean Network Express ones, also on order, uh, although for some uh, bizarre reason, um, despite having it on pre-order with Hattons, uh, it seems as though I'm going get, to be getting it as part of their uh, next uh, stock from that, rather than the first one that came in. Don't ask me why, but um, yeah, uh, a lot of people are very positive about Hattons, and certainly they can be very good. Uh, however, there's just been one or two things in my experience that haven't been quite as good as I would like them to be, if I'm completely honest. Uh, lack of communication is certainly one of those issues, but I'm sure that those of you watching will have your own experiences 
and certainly the majority of Manhattan's experiences have been very positive. So there's just a very short update with some things to do with uh, containers and container wagons. Hopefully normal service will be resumed uh, within the next week or so and we'll have a little bit of an update. I've got a few products on order, um, not rolling stock, and hopefully I'll be able to show you something about those in upcoming videos. Well, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like it, consider subscribing to the channel, and if you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much. Bye.